traders. Notorious characters molded by the sharp end of the world's financial markets. Wheeler dealers consumed by the ebb and flow of money. Buy, sell and turn a profit any which way you can. If money is not one of your gods, you're wasting time in this environment. Let's talk about the trading platforms. I'm on a crash course with the experts in the city of London. You need to preserve your capital at the start. An apprenticeship so I can trade online, anytime, anywhere. This is my journey as a rookie trader. Off to work in London's financial heartland. Three companies are at my disposal willing to share their wealth of experience. I must understand the mechanics of trading, but also the mindset. Is it gambling? Yes, it's a bet. It's, let's not try and dress it up to something that it isn't. It is a straightforward bet. It's your hunch and pitting your wits against the marketplace. And there is a huge element of risk. You simply right click on that instrument and it says close out the position. Right. Um, which In the classroom, I'm getting to grips with the online software, my gateway to trading heaven or hell. <laughs> At IG Index, spread betting in the volatile world of currencies. So with us on the pound against the dollar, you can trade from as low as 50p a point. Around the corner, Ryan at CMC Markets is filling my head with the workings of CFDs, contracts for difference. Trade all these types of instruments. And the big, the big element of CFD trading is that you can trade on margin. So you can just put in a small amount of your own capital to take out a much larger position. Um, CFDs and spread betting are pretty similar instruments. They allow you to take positions in the markets without actually paying up front for the underlying assets or shares. If we were looking at Vodafone, for example, um, a £300 deposit or margin requirement would give you access to a £10,000 position in the underlying security. Instead, you bet on the direction in which you think shares will move. So, you buy or go long if you think the price will rise, but you sell or go short if you think the price will drop. The amount it moves in either direction dictates how much you win or lose. And I suppose if, if we thought that the pound was going to go down against the dollar, uh, then we, we could we'd press on sell. That's exactly it. You would, you would short sell. And as we know, short selling has got an enormous amount of press over the last year. The beauty of products such as this, you can trade markets in both directions. So whatever your view on the market, you can position yourself to try and profit whether you're bullish or bearish on that market. All right, so today is all about the principle, and I think I'm getting the jargon, longs, the shorts, the margin. I mean, everyone here is making me feel so confident, but I've got these eight booklets to get through, full of information. It's such a minefield. How am I going to have the confidence to trade on my own? When you learn to trade online, fixating on a computer screen, it's easy to lose sight of what trading was set up to do. It's about the buying and selling of real products in the real world. The London Metal Exchange is a global trading centre for the likes of aluminium, copper and zinc. Traders have been yelling across these floors since 1877. A gesture here, a shout there, money and metals moving around the world. It's nearly 5 p.m. and the markets are about to close. Time to ramp up the noise and strike a last-minute deal. You know, there are a lot of cliches about what it's like to be a trader. Looking at this lot down here, it's easy to see where those perceptions come from. It's your stereotypical boiling cauldron. It looks so stressful down there. This is now the last open outcry trading pit in Europe. 
not a place for the faint-hearted. Mercifully, I'll never have to compete in the pit, but in my own modest way, I'm trying the same thing as the high rollers at the big multinationals. So it helps to understand the nature of the competition. If money is not one of your gods, you're wasting time in this environment. And also the driving tenacity to want to actually better your own personal lot in life, because you know that you are probably washed up at the age of 40. The chips are down, you get your opportunity, but this is the most unforgiving business, and the moment you stop producing, you're out the door. Wherever and however you trade, the markets can ruthlessly punish poor judgment and lack of experience. Uh, we don't want you to trade with your own money just yet. We'll, we'll give you so some far, I have been sheltered from the prospect of losing my own money. I'm paper trading, simulated transactions using a dummy account. Um, one of the mistakes traders make when they have a dummy account is to take much larger positions than they normally would. I want you to treat it just like you would uh, with your own funds. It's a contract for the difference in price. Well, shall I buy or sell? Blair is absolutely fundamental. I've taken in a lot today. I think I've got the jargon. I think I've got the trading platform. What I don't know yet, though, is whether I've got what it takes to be a trader, whether I could smell a deal. Either way, I've got a lot of homework to do. I'll see you tomorrow.